After seeing how much damage Liz could do with the AoE attacks, I thought I want to see some level 3s from her. And because she actually can be running a full Sin team from her passive, which allows her to be there in a full Goddess. I mean, it doesn't have to be full, but you know. Goddesses, Sins, and Humans all contribute to her getting all stats. So, you can just run a team like this with Galfer and get rank ups very easily. Ranking up and stancing, unfortunately, does not contribute to her stacks. So, which could be annoying. But let's see. So, I'm gonna do this. I don't even want to begin to ask what is this guy running, but... <laughs> Level 100 Blue Liz. DK... De okay, whatever. Whatever, Let let's focus on this level 3 here. <laughs> the problem is, right, again, I don't like that her stacks only are applied when you do damage to the enemy, but I, f I do believe, right, like, if you could get her stacks working on blue cards and before the card, it would be too strong, so. It's just an annoying thing that I just have to accept. You know what? I just want to see two stacks. How much is she doing with two stacks? Let's uh, let's do this. Nah, I can't kill DK because of damage cap. So I'm gonna do this. Yeah, I already have her level three. So next turn I can. DK doesn't have Tarmia Link. It wasn't her. Oh well. Oh well. <laughs> okay, sure. Sure. But it's fine. Oh, that's not good. I wanted to use that. We're gonna get to see it anyways. Mm. What are the odds... ...that she survives as level 3? Very low. Very low odds. I think. But I would like for her to survive this. Yeah, very low. <laughs> very low odds. Uh, the AoE. Missed every crit on DK. Really? Really? I didn't have any Zaldra's passive either, because I couldn't debuff as much. Really? You know, I actually, uh, I, I brought, brought on Zaldra's bed. How much crit chance do you have? 202%! Okay. <laughs> sure. Let's see the single target. 202%! Okay. Missed every crit? Every single one? That's just RNG right there. That is the definition of luck. Alright, so I swapped the Zelders for um, Death Pierce. So that he perhaps can give me some better chance of, crit of critting. Although, it shouldn't be an issue for like, critting most teams, right? It really shouldn't be. And you know, one day. One day, my boy Death Pierce is gonna get a godlike relic for the back. He will, I trust. Ooh, see, I have a, an opportunity to do something real crazy here. I think if I rank up Liz here and I level three, level three, I'm gonna get a double kill. I, I think so. Even without full stack, I think so. Some attack lowering from Bon is not ideal. Sure. But I wanna try it. I wanna try it. Yeah, I'm going for these two. Cause in case I don't kill Melly. Eh, whatever. Oh! Nah. <laughs> Bruh. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Easy dubs. 
<laughs> Bro. She hits so hard. It's what's crazy is like my DN has a revive. Even if he somehow killed the end, she would revive. It's so dumb. Let's do this. They always gonna double kill. I think. Nah, bro. Got a goddess team. It's a team that, of course, is very tanky. So, we might not be able to do so much damage. Plus, we're being 10% attack related stat lowered in the first two turns by Liz. Not ideal. Uh, Gaffer didn't even do damage to uh, two of them. Mmm. I like the look of this. You know what? Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do this level 2 rank up. Ow. That hurt, Gaffer. And then we're gonna do this, right? Who has revive? Margaret has revive. Oh, he has a 6-6 six, six Liz. No, four six. I thought that, that I did. I made the same mistake on my other video because the <laughs> the damage reduction from Margaret get, gets me confused with Liz damage reduction. She's four six. What are we doing here? That's still killed. Damn. With the attack, with Tristan as well. We did miss the crit. We did miss the crit. But that was impressive. How many stacks do we have? Do we have three? Or is it four? Can't see. Okay, we have four. Oh, perfect. Perfect. We're gonna do this. Uh, we still have damage increase from the end, so... We're gonna level three with Gaffer for attack buff. And then AoE. It should kill. It should wipe. We're, di we're di uh, damage lowered, but... Wow. Damage lowered by my L debuff. And Margaret and my L passive. Yeah. Got another goddess team. Very usual. Stance. We do pretty much the same turn as last time. So, you don't actually have to do damage to them. You just have to use a damaging card. Given that, you know, if they have dodge, you still get her passive to proc. Unlike some characters that, for example, only proc if you do damage. Like, uh, what's the name of that recent character we got? Like, Shaltier, right? Oh, this is so... That is so perfect. Mm, yeah. Let's make sure Margaret dies because she got the ultimate. So perfect. Oh, but... I forgot. If they have more than three ult gauge, and you have the, the passive on them, they uh, you remove ult gauge by attacking them. I forgot. I because the, the initial tra initial translation we got was that if, it was if they had three or less. But it's the, if it's if they have three or more. That's goddess Liz! I thought this was light Liz! <laughs> they look the same! <laughs> Is it racist to say that all goddesses look the same? No, nah, I'm kidding, but they look the same! Okay. <laughs> we'll do this. Bro. I did not see that she was, like, blue element. Legit, I thought that was the, the new Liz. I thought that was the new Liz. Damn. That is humorous, if you will. 
Okay. Get a card for her, so we can just like an AOE here. No. All right, let's let's skip to the next match. Got a DK. That's loads of damage reduction. Do the same thing. Oh, I should. Not oh, whatever, but. I forgot to swap the link. Uh, Liz's link to Red Saurio. Because Red Saurio, if you are hitting all crits, is actually slightly better than Mayo. As a link. If you're not, Mayo is better. And we, we should be hitting all crits. Like, that one time we didn't was a bit of a. Bit of an odd situation, but. Generally speaking, we should. Um, what to do, what to do. I don't want to attack and get melody attack, but I mean, do I care? Do I care? Hmm. What if I do this? Reapply the stance. Do I care about melody's attack buff? Oh, I should have cared. <laughs> you know why I should have cared? Because DK also is going to get his uh, rank up. Uh, the two of them attacking me right now is not ideal. I have revive on the end, and she has no debuff. I mean, she's going she's gonna to have a debuff. But I have revive on the end. No damage reduction on Liz, but on Gaffer, because my Liz is not 6-6. Hmm. Okay, that wasn't that bad, actually. That could have been worse. That could have been worse. I would have rather I would have rather the the end dying than Gaffer, but that's okay. We're gonna AOE. We're gonna ult. Then we're gonna single target. My AU is not gonna do much because it's uh Yep. It's freaking what's it called? Flood. And she had zero HP. But I want you to do some damage before the ultimate. Same DK. I'm gonna be a little more proactive on this one, I feel like. Because you, you can't really wait. Unfortunately, Liz takes a little while to get get it going, right? But you can't really be waiting. It's kind of like it, I said this. Like she remind she reminds me of a mixture of both of the Liz's, right? Like the revive, and then it takes like long for her to get going, like the other Liz. Or okay, it's not as bad as the other Liz. Obviously, the other like Liz to get going, but you cannot tell me it's not similar. You gotta have your allies attack enough to then get the full power. But look at that. Yeah, she doesn't need the full power. Jeez. The other one needed to be at full power to do something. This one does not. <laughs> Goddess Liz in the back is a weird choice, I'll tell you. This one does not need to have all the engines running to be able to do something. That's that's the big biggest part. Yeah, sick level three. I'm gonna do this. This and this. The stun is not a card, it's a passive, so even if I get Tarmiel Link disabled here, I will still stun, but he's gonna die anyway, so. Oh, he didn't. Well. Doesn't change what I said, I, st <laughs> I still got a stun off. <laughs> it's good to keep in mind, though. Passive abilities do not get disabled by uh, by that debuff. But yeah, I could have actually killed if I had... Bro, there's no one else playing the game! If I face this guy again, I'm cutting off. Bro... <laughs> yeah. yeah. 
<laughs> He's also sick of seeing my ass, bro. Uh, yeah, I could have killed level 2 instead, but I, I did AoE twice, just in case. Um, because revive, right? So, just in case Liz died, but DK didn't, so she got revived, I, I decided to AoE again. But... You know, obviously, maybe I should have accounted for him dying too, so. What if I just level 3 AoE here? Do I kill both? I'm not gonna kill DK because damage cap, but... I do, wow. Wow. That, that's all I have to say. Wow. <laughs> Her damage is pretty nuts. He does have a level 3 again. Potentially two level 3s. If this attacks and this combines to level 3. It did not combine. If he had two level 3 AoEs, I... I would... Mm, I wouldn't lose, I don't think. But it would have been annoying. Ah, uh, this is annoying. Uh, so, the way Goddess Liz Revive works, oh, I can't even, eh, no, mm, whatever. The way Goddess Liz Revive works means that I'm going to do this, I'm going to kill DK, and he's going to be revived with Phallus Stun. Yeah. If it was Hell Revive... Like, if you, if you did this to Hell, and she had a revive, she would come back, revived, with a stun. It's really weird. It's really weird. It makes sense for the Goddess Liz revive, I think, because it's... I believe it explicitly says that the the character comes back with uh, with no debuffs. Oh, he wins this one. Unfortunately. I just got bad luck. Bad luck on cards. Just got bad luck on cards. But, yeah, revive is cringe. Like, if I had two Liz single targets, I would have killed both. And it would have been GG, but... Whatever. Let's do this. Revive is weird, because the revive from this Liz doesn't say anything about that, right? But if you do... Like, there were... They... Pretty much copy and pasted how the revive works from Goddess Liz into this this Liz revive. It's uh, it's strange. I cannot be attacking with Guffer again. I'm just gonna, he's gonna die. Oh my god. I feel like I have to attack with Liz now. Like Guffer is gonna die. <laughs> uh. This is an annoying part about uh, this whole passive, but, you know, it's not like... You're not going to be running this team I'm running, right? You're not. You're going to be running her with goddesses, and they have cleanse, so it's fine. But in this situation where I have to use an attack card to get her passive going, it's a bit of a problem. Oh, I wanted the end to get the revive. Uh, bad cards as well. Yeah, I knew the one's gonna die. Well, <laughs> all this, and I don't even have. <laughs> don't even don't even have her max stacks. That's crazy. I was really hoping they wouldn't kill me. Okay, this is a team that I can potentially get a good level 3 on, maybe. How much damage is it going to be doing here? If Roxy was present, I would be a little more concerned about the end surviving, but... I think we should be alright. What determines the first turn revive, I wonder? Yeah. I don't know if how concerned I am about uh, 
Or if we're getting an ultimate. I think I'm gonna do this. Yeah, just get the kill on Arthur right now. With the level 3. No damage increase. Any more from him. Oh, okay. Don't back out, please! I can get level 3 AoE on him. Cool, son. Although I'm gonna be pretty lowered by Bond, which is annoying, but not gonna see the most damage possible, but it's whatever. Uh I'm gonna stand with the end, because why not? I'm ranking her up for no reason actually. She combined the cards. <laughs> whatever. Nice. With all the attack lowering from Bon and the defense related stats from Gilfunder, I'll take it. Alright, that should be it. That should be it. I like it. 